Jasmine Jazz Tutorials. Um, this week's tutorial is going to be a text effect tutorial because we haven't done text effects in a while and I thought this was pretty awesome and then I'd share it with you guys. Alrighty, so we're going to open a new canvas of large size. Uh, I did 640px by whatever that size is that comes in your file and new and all that. Alright, it doesn't have to be that big. It can be whatever you want. Um, Mine just came out black, but we're going to change that. So you're going to go over here to your swatches, and you're going to change the colors. So you're going to choose this one here, 0895BC, for the first one. And then on the bottom one here, foreground, you're going to choose this one, OAEBFF. Yeah. All right, those two should be in your swatches now. So with that, now go over here and select the gradient tool. And then in the top corner here, you'll see your two colors here and your swatches automatically here. So just click that one there and click OK. Um, I already have this one selected, the um, linear. That's the standard one. And I'm just going to swipe it down like so. All right, you see that? That's what you want to see. Oops. Why did that happen? There we go. Alright, so we have that made. So you're now going to go over here to your layer section and you're going to create a new layer above that. Now on this one here, we're going to use white. We need white, so I'm just going to push D on my keyboard to turn white to become available. So we're going to go over here to our brush tool. And you're going to load on these specific brushes. They're called cloud brushes. Um, I'll provide you the link in the description below because you will need these for this tutorial. Alright, mine are somewhere. I think they're right here. Um, yeah. Alright, click. Um, yeah, I don't know why mine are showing it properly, but they are. Okay. Alright, I like that one there. Um, and just use various ones, you know, to create the effect you're looking for. Um, and by all means, this is trial and error. You don't have to really do what I'm doing. Um, you can totally do whatever you want. It's totally up to you. And let's see. Alright, I'm going to put a couple of them there. Maybe. Alright, I kind of like that for oops. Alright, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. That's just to show you guys. Alright, once you have your um, layer made um, with your cloud background, you're going to go over here to your text tool, and you're going to add your text. Now you can use whatever font you want. Um, I'm using Lucinda um, Handwriting. Uh, that came standard with Photoshop for me. Um, I know some people have had, I've known people that have issues with it not showing up. Um, but it is there, or it should be there. If it's not there, then you can download it on, um, I believe, da, da font, da font .com. Um, I think they have it there too. I'm not sure, but um, I have it in mine. I'm just going to use the word jazz, but whatever. Alright, and I'm going to use a 100px brush, a 100px point of the text, or maybe even go 100p, I think. Yeah, I like that. Alright, the bigger the better, right? <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so you have that, right? Um, you're going to want to paste this below your uh, text layer, because what we're going to essentially do is we're going to paint clouds over the um, image. Okay, so I already have selected a brush of size. Um, I'm using this 255px brush. It's a smoke brush. I will again provide this for you in the, descri in the description below because you will need this. <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right, so we're going to go over here to where our brush is, and you're going to select Shape Dynamics. You're going to change the size jitter to 60%. The minimum diameter can stay at 0%. The angle jitter should be 80%. The roundness jitter should be 25%. And the minimum roundness is 25% as well. You want to make sure that smoothing and protected texture are, are selected. And once that's all set, you can click out of that and begin your awesomeness. So what I'm going to do, oop, that's is you're going to paint around, you're going to like outline the words. Now, as you can clearly see, the brush is way too big for my letters. So you can go over here again and go to brush tip size and you can change the size of your brush to suit your canvas. So just go around, all right, I think 59 or 60 will look good. We're going to go with 60 or 58. <laughs> all right. You're going to probably need to zoom in for this because you won't be able to see anything. So here we go. You're just going to basically outline all of it and make sure the text is white. All right, and then when you go like this, you will then see your text. Now, mine doesn't look that great because I didn't use a really good font to show you guys, but, you know, that's essentially what you'll get. You're going to go to Bevel and Emboss, and on the shadow mode, you're going to change that to 0, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9. Okay, there we go. All right, and that's it. Basically, the rest can stay. Actually, another size you can change to two. And this is going to be 460. All right, and there you go. Click OK, and you have that. I'm going to add some more effects to this as well. So go up here to your filter and you're going to add an unsharpened mask. Alright, these are the standard settings that I have in here. 75% fade mount and radius is 1.0. That's what you want, so just click OK. Alrighty. You good there? I'm good there. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to create some more depth to make it look as though it's floating in the clouds. So below the, clo the cloud uh, text layer, make a new one, and go back over to your clouds over here in your brush tool, and just select random ones and paint them right under them, like, like that. So it looks as though they really are floating into the clouds. Um, let's see, take that one. And yeah, so there we go. Now you can go a step further and add some like, I, I have a textured file. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I think it's in my download section, actually. Uh, nope, it's not there, where did it go? Um, Alright, I don't know where it went. But anyway, I had some hot air balloon, a PSD file of hot air balloons, and I added a few in, in there. Just pasted them on, uh, changed the opacity a bit, and then, you know, saved it and made it a cool file. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I know my text isn't the greatest because I didn't really use a good text to show you guys the effect, but I like Lucinda handwriting because it looks kind of cool, but yeah, 
Alright guys, so this is my tutorial for you all. Um, hopefully you liked it. Um, if not, like it anyway. Subscribe anyway. Because you're awesome and awesome people should subscribe because I like awesome people and I know you like awesome stuff. So, there you go. Um, so yeah, um, you're welcome to leave comments. Um, you're welcome to respond with a video showing me your effect um, or whatever. I'm open for that. Um, messages, comments, whatever. So, I will see you all next week. Bye.